Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited about today's video because I will be highlighting some of my favorite bookstores in the San Fernando Valley. If you guys like this video, I'm happy to do this with some of the other bookstores in the greater LA area, including those in Pasadena and Venice. There are a ton of really nice bookstores and I am excited to share these with you all. I think in this day and age where corporations are taking over everything, it's really important to be mindful of independent bookstores that might be struggling or that might just not be well known even though they deserve it. So those are the ones that I wanted to highlight today. So first off we have $10 or less bookstore. This is in Encino, California and this is probably one of my new favorite places. I don't think I've ever walked away without a book in my hands from this place. They have a super cute children's section that's like really brightly lit and inviting and the staff are always really kind and accommodating and you know never hesitate to strike up a conversation about books. Here is their fantasy selection, which is pretty decent. Here are their CDs and DVDs. I've gotten a good mix of old books and new ones here. Sometimes I'll see a book going around on Bookstagram and then I'll find it in the store like a week later. So they have a good selection of both new and old. Here is their selection of classics, which is super aesthetically pleasing. And this is just my love language. It says books on these shelves are one dollar. Here's just a close-up of some of their classics. And they also have a selection of 99 cent vinyls and other records available at the front of their store. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. So the next store that I'd like to highlight is called Bargain Books. This is in Van Nuys, California, and this was, I believe, opened in 1958 by a brother-sister duo who still run the place. And this is kind of like the quintessential bookstore that you'd imagine when you're reading about bookstores, right? Like, they have a really unique selection of books, so it might take a few hours, but you can find some truly hidden gems in here. Um, it's like quaint and homey, and I don't know, the vibes are just really cozy and comforting. And they have a good selection of $1 books, 50 cent books, half price books, and you can walk away with a good selection. I would like to give honorable mention to House of Secrets. This is a comic book store in Burbank, California. Back when I was really into comic books and graphic novels, I would frequent House of Secrets quite often, and it's a really nice store. It's kind of the perfect size. They have a good selection of comic books and graphic novels, and the staff has always been super helpful and kind to me, and it's just a nice place to shop around if you are a comic book lover. And the last place I want to highlight is called Iliad Bookshop. This is also in Burbank, California. This is some place that I've been going to since my undergrad days in college, so it's been about a decade now. And while it was closed and I went to take this video, um, I will add a few pictures that I've taken of the interior. So in the meantime, please enjoy these shots that I got from my car as I was parked on the sidewalk. But yeah, this store is amazing. They don't really have any newer books, or it's rare that they do. It's more um, classics. And 
and you know books that have been published for a few years already and I always pick up a few books when I'm there they also have store cats and a ladder and shelves upon shelves of books so truly you can browse for such a long time and find something you'd like so while I didn't uh, buy anything from Iliad because it was close when I went I will show off the books that I got most recently from there so I did buy a copy of crime and punishment for three dollars I have yet to read this but I am looking Looking forward to it. And I also got this really nice copy of David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. It is in supreme condition and the edges are like sprayed gold and the spine and cover are both beautiful so I am I honestly don't even want to read it because it's just so pretty but I will read it eventually. So when I went to a $10 or less bookstore there was a two-for-one sale going on and I didn't know this until the cashier let me know but the books that I originally bought were The Last Flight. This is a thriller that I've been seeing around bookstagram and everyone's been talking about it so I decided to check it out for myself and I also got a copy of Queenie and this is also something that I've been seeing on bookstagram and people seem to like it a lot and the plot sounds right up my alley so I'm excited to read this one. So then when I found out it was two-for-one one, I ran back to the shelves and I got this book. It is The Boy from the Woods by Harlan Coben. Harlan Coben is a pretty well-known thriller writer and I've read a few of his stuff before so hopefully this one is just as good or better. So each of these books was six dollars so I did end up getting three books for 12 with the two-for-one deal that they had. While I didn't have a lot of time to shop around bargain books I did manage to snag this copy of Carrie by Stephen King. I have actually never read a Stephen King book before. I did try reading The Gunslinger about a year ago and I don't know something about the writing just didn't catch my interest but given that this is a pretty short book and I know somewhat about the plot I'm hoping that this will be more engaging for me in some way so I will give this a shot hopefully soon. So those are some of my favorite bookstores in the valley. Let me know if you have any favorites in the valley or in the city where you live and if you like this I'll go ahead and explore more of the LA bookstores. In the meantime don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and I will see you for the next video. Bye guys!